What is going on YouTube? So Winner is coming at you with another Rust for Dummies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a deceptive base. For this base design, I recommend at least two people unless you're a mad solo player like myself and build in a resource rich area. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Now what you're going to want to do is build a 5x5 foundation. Next up, you're going to want to pillar all of those foundations. Now you're going to need to stand right on the center block of your foundations and place four doorways all the way around you. Now you're going to want to put a doorway on every side of your base, right smack bang in the middle. Now start layering your base with walls all along the outside of the foundations. On the next step of building this base, you're going to want to put some doorways here, because this is going to be your entry point. And we're going to put doorways on the sides as well, with doors and code locks, people. Code locks. Remember, this base is all about deception. So, once all that's on there, this will be your main chamber to enter. Now, on either side of the main chamber there, you're going to want to start building your extra storage rooms. If you don't know how to do that, link will be in the description right now. So go check that before you even attempt to start building the extra storage rooms. Otherwise, you'll ruin your whole base. So now start adding a second level of pillars and, of course, a second layer of walls. Now I want you to start putting a lid on that base. Get those roofs down. Now completely wall off the holes in your main chamber. Now we're at the best part of this base, and probably the most expensive part. Blocks. Start putting those down and upgrade them as you go. Now what we do is we put a wall in front of these blocks. And upgrade that. And here's why we have blocks and walls together. Gonna put C4 on, and let's see what happens. With one of the latest updates to Rust, there is no area damage from C4, so they only blow a hole in one wall, and that's the wall they put the C4 on. So, the blocks behind this wall are not going to get touched, which is amazing! So make sure you fill up all of the empty spaces in your base with blocks and walls. And remember, it is very important that you upgrade them as you go. Otherwise, you might just wall yourself off from upgrading those, and they become worthless defense. So after the base is all upgraded and everything, make sure you have code locks on all your doors. It's a deceptive base, people. Code locks on all the doors, even if you aren't going to use them. Now, once you have that all upgraded, ladder defenses and all, we're going to try and raid our own base and see how much C4 it costs us to get inside of it. So after this initial blast, when people run up, they may think, oh shit, it's been griefed. We just wasted our C4. Let's get the fuck out of here. But for other more determined people, they're going to try and bust through this shit, especially after they know this video is out there. So now that we're finally through, guess how much C4 that cost us to get across just two foundations. 10 C4. 10. 10 C4, people. That's incredible. And that's even without them C4ing your loot rooms. Just remember guys that I did speed up the process of making this video so I didn't include code locks on my doors but you will need code locks on them and you'll also need tool cabinets and remember to go and check out that video about how to make an extra storage room. Also as a side note you might want to build this base on the flattest surface you can find and close to the ground because they could just blow in your foundations and climb in underneath from there. And don't forget that some extra ladder protection would not go astray. So, if this video helped you out at all, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to. And as always, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.